friends. Today we're going to make poppy seed chicken. And this is kind of like a casserole. And it has um, chicken breast. It has cream of uh, chicken. It has um, garlic, some onion, just to season the meat. It has Monterey Jack cheese. And then it has a topping of um, Ritz crackers with poppy seed. It's very, very good. It's very, very easy. And so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this chicken. I'm going to boil it. Now, this is two very large breasts. Um, the recipe calls for four small breasts. So this is two um, larger breasts. So um, we're just going to go with that. Okay, I hope you can see me okay. My little cameraman is gone. But we're just going to open up this chicken. And we're going to, I've got um, a pot here on the stove. And we're just going to boil it. And I'm going to put some garlic and this is just minced onion. Um, I didn't want to have onion in it as far as, you know, big slices of onion or chops of onion because we're actually fixing to leave on vacation and the people that are going with us, I can't remember if they like onion. So this is some garlic. And I use um, the minced garlic from the um, produce section. So we are leaving for Rocky Mountain National Park in the morning. And they're coming from Alabama to uh, travel with us. So I'm going to have dinner ready. All right. Let me open up this chicken and get it in here. Okay, once I got this chicken open, because it's frozen, it was a little hard to get open, I see that it is three breast. But that's okay. We will always uh, be happy when we have a little extra meat. Okay, our chicken is done. It's been boiling, so it is hot still. So I'm going to just put it in this casserole pan to cool um, while we mix up the, the filling part. So we'll just put this aside and let it cool. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over here. We'll have to shred that in just a second. So for your filling, you want three cans of either chicken, cream of chicken, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, just whatever you prefer. And uh, I'm going today, I'm gonna to use two cans of uh, cream of chicken and one of cream of celery. So we'll get that in here. And I usually, I tell you what, I'm not gonna buy this Walmart brand anymore because it, it doesn't look as good. When you see it side by side, um, sometimes your recipes turn out as good as your ingredients. And so, and I think this will be okay today. And this is cream. So I'm using two cans of cream of chicken and two and one can of cream of celery. And darling. Okay. We're getting ready to go on vacation. Trying to keep Chris out of this. Getting ready, I am ready. I'm ready too. Okay, we also want one stick of butter. And I always use salted butter. Real salted butter. Don't like unsalted. Okay, and then you're gonna also want a carton of cream cheese, of uh, sour cream. And I use the whole carton. The original recipe called for two cans of um, soup and one cup of this, but I, we like, we don't like anything dry. So I'm just gonna put it all in here. If you watch any of our videos, you know we don't like anything dry. We like everything to be juicy. Okay, 
And then we're going to do three tablespoons of poppy seed. So it calls for three, three tablespoons, the whole recipe. So in, in this mixture here, we're going to do um, two. And we're going to save the other tablespoon for the topping. Okay, I already put a half. Okay. So. Now what we're going to do, and then a, a 10 ounce bag of cheese, and this is Monterey Jack, this whole thing, okay? And we're just going to stir it around, and then we are going to put this in the microwave to slowly start heating up, okay? I'm going to put it in my microwave probably for about three minutes to start with. Let's see if we can shred up this chicken. The easiest way to shred up chicken is with a mixer. You're going to make chicken salad and you're going to boil your own chicken. Um, but since I'm kind of in a hurry today, I've got so much to do. I'm just going to kind of keep it in bigger hunks. Just do it. Just shred it with the spoon. Or hunk it or whatever. I'm not real, real, real picky. And my family isn't either. And actually, Chris kind of likes um, chunks. We'll take out that little piece of fat. We're having chicken noodle soup or whatever he he prefers to have chunks. Okay, so I've got this done. I am going to continue heating this until it gets to the smoothness that I want. And uh, you can also do it on the stove if you do it on a real, 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 real low heat. You don't want it to scorch. So, I think I've got this chicken. It's actually covering the pan and it's in pretty good pieces. And let me check, check my mixture. Okay, I'm going to continue to do this. And then I'll be right back when this all gets, the cheese gets melted and the butter gets melted. Okay? Wooden spoon you can actually keep in the microwave. Okay, I think this um, is good. This is good and melted. The butter is melted. The cheese is melted. So, um, and I've got my chicken layered in my pan. Can you see that? It's a good, good chunk. So good chicken on the bottom. And then we're going to just spread this on top. Very, very easy. And I like this recipe because I can make it up in advance and I can put it in the refrigerator and then right before I think I need to start, I'll just pull it out of the um, refrigerator and it just bakes for 30 minutes. So um, now the next step would be if you were going to go ahead and stick this straight into the oven, I mean uh, get ready to make it right now, is that you would crumble up two sleeves of Ritz crackers and another stick of butter and one tablespoon of poppy seed. We're going to do that later because I want to have this for tonight. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put um, some foil. Let's see. Let me show it to you. Got it all spread on there. So right now I'm just going to put some foil over this. And I'm going to stick it in my refrigerator until it's time to start dinner. And I'll just probably serve it with the salad and um, some garlic bread. Okay? In the refrigerator until it's supper time. 
Okay, it's time for me to get the this in the oven. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the put this in the oven and uh, for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna put my topping on there and we're gonna bake it for an additional 20 minutes. So I've got the oven on 350 and I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in for about 10 minutes. Okay, that's almost been 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and start the topping. This is uh, just another stick of butter, and we're going to put it in the microwave and melt it. And crumble up the crackers, and add one tablespoon of poppy seed. We're going to put it back on the, put it on the deal and bake it for about another 20 minutes until this is golden brown. Um, they're almost here from Alabama. So we'll load up and get ready to leave early in the morning. So. Day. All right, that's good. Now I like when I crush my crackers. Excuse me, nose is itching. I think that means somebody's talking about you or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll do mine. I crush them, but I, I like some of them to be a little bit, so not big, big, but you know, just not like powder. Put that in there. And our poppy seed. This is really a favorite. That's good and it's so easy. Wonderful for church um, gathering or potluck or anything like that. Okay, so we got our tablespoon in there. Mix this all up. Okay. And then let me get my casserole out of the little oven. go ahead and get it out. It smells delicious. Look at that. It's just a little bit brown. And let me put these garlic breads in there. But it is um, ready and it feeds a good crowd. So let's get some out. I'm starving. It is been such a long day that I haven't even really stopped to eat anything. I think I had a piece of that birthday cake this morning that I put on a couple of days ago. Christopher's birthday cake. Okay. It's popping hot. 
but I'm going to try to get a little bite. Look at that cheese, just... Mmm, I love it. It doesn't need salt, it doesn't need pepper, it doesn't need anything. If it's perfect just like that, put a little garlic bread on there and a little bit of salad, you have a great meal. But, let me have one more bite. Mmm. Yes. Very delicious. I can't wait for supper time. Thank you for coming along with me today. We'll see you next time.